Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking all about Elizabeth Taylor and her favorite beauty products that you can still buy today. And if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Laura. This is where I talk about all things vintage, fashion, and beauty. So if you love those things, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the big red button below. Also, if you haven't already, please feel free to follow me on Instagram. I created a new Instagram account for my channel and I'd love it if you guys could head over there and follow me as well. I post a lot of behind the scenes stuff as well as IGTV and I also link that below. Alright, let's jump right in and talk all about Elizabeth Taylor and her favorite beauty products that you can still buy today. Elizabeth Taylor was a British American actress born in 1932 and died in 2011. She was very iconic in the 1950s. In 1999, the American Film Institute named her the seventh greatest female screen legend of all time. So she was a very iconic old Hollywood actress and I was so curious to figure out which beauty products she um, wore and if you can buy any of them today. And I actually found out a lot about her, so I'm really excited to share this with you. And here's a little a few tips I found that Elizabeth Taylor did um, for her beauty routine online. She actually did her own makeup most of the time and she would take a long bath afterwards to set her makeup. She found that all the steam from the bath would help set her makeup and it took her several hours to do her makeup. She said it took at least half an hour to do her lips an hour and a half to do her eyes and she actually didn't wear false eyelashes either. She was born with like double lashes so she just naturally had thick beautiful lashes which I'm super jealous of. I wish I didn't have to go get my lashes curled and tint and I just had naturally thick curled lashes like Elizabeth Taylor. Elizabeth Taylor liked to use drugstore skincare brands I discovered and one of her favorite face creams was Jergens face cream. I believe this one is from the 1950s and might even be older and this is kind of an all-purpose face cream and cleansing cream. It has a really nice pink color to it which I like. I love the floral scent as well and I just think it's really pretty the pink color and honestly I think it was like five dollars at Walmart so Elizabeth Taylor loved to use this and she would keep it on her bedside table and she also loved lip glosses so she would have skin cream and lip glosses on her bedside table. Towards the end of her life she became really into Elizabeth Arden and she would use the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. This is kind of a classic old Hollywood cream. It's from the 1930s and is one of the oldest face creams and it kind of has this orangey color to it but it works wonders you can use it on your lips you can use it on your face your hands your eyebrows it's kind of like a multi-purpose cream and honestly it just works wonders it like keeps your hands really moisturized and just keeps everything beautiful and it's kind of has like a nice sheen to it so it even could work well as a primer and i actually discovered um, Elizabeth Taylor's setting powder that she liked to use and this is a Japanese brand. It is kind of hard to pronounce so I'm probably butchering it but it's called Maquifard. Um, it's M-A-Q-U-I-F-A-R-D and it is in this beautiful blue. Look how beautiful this case is. This reminds me of something from a retro 1950s old Hollywood vanity. I can see her wearing this. I could see this on her vanity. It kind of reminds me of her eyes, and some of the jewelry that she would wear, and I just, I love the case. And it's this beautiful large powder, and I love it. I'm wearing it now. It goes on so well. It makes your skin beautiful and mattified. It's honestly one of my favorite face powders, and honestly the case even makes it that much better. So she used this on a regular basis. For her eyeshadow, she would always use a matte gray and a matte gray eyeliner. I'm wearing my makeup like her. I have a tutorial that I did for IGTV if you want to watch that. But she had, her eye makeup was very simple, but she loved gray and would do like white eyeliner on the lash line um, and a very bright lipstick and she would not do any contouring. Certainly Elizabeth Taylor collected Elizabeth Arden lipstick. She just loved it. She had it basically in every color. And so I bought one of the Elizabeth Arden lipsticks. I'm wearing it now. 
This is the first time that I have ever bought an Elizabeth Arden lipstick and I must say I'm very impressed. I love how red and shiny it is and I bought the color Scarlet 3 and this just looked like something that she would wear. I also love that they kind of kept that old Hollywood look with the gold lipstick case as well. I like that it's still very glamorous. The foundation, because she does love Elizabeth Arden, I got the Elizabeth Arden foundation, and this is kind of an anti-aging one. It's a lift and firm cream makeup foundation with SPF 15, and I love how it goes on. It kind of gives you like a really nice dewy look. It's very moisturizing, so it's like an anti-aging cream mixed with foundation. So I bought this one because I just, I, envisioned her wearing this because I knew she was such a fan of Elizabeth Arden and I also love how retro it looks with the gold and I've never tried Elizabeth Arden before and I quite like it. I'm really into the brand now after experimenting for this video. We're gonna get into her favorite perfumes. She had a lot of perfumes that she wore and she even made her own perfume. So let's get started with that. So the first perfume that Elizabeth Taylor loved was Jungle Gardenia. And this is a classic scent that has been around since 1932 and a lot of old Hollywood actresses wore this. Natalie Wood wore this, um, Joan Crawford wore Jungle Gardenia. So it's definitely a classic scent and it's very beautiful. Um, it has gardenia, jasmine, the lily of the valley. It's very light and refreshing. So this is kind of one of my classic go-to scents and this one's from 1932. The next fragrance that she wore, this one is definitely hard to pronounce as well. It's called Jean Desprez Val à Versailles, and pardon me if I did pronounce that wrong. I think this is a really unique friend, uh, fragrance. It's from Paris, so it's like a French fragrance. It looks a little retro. This looks so vintage. I love the bottle, and even the box is beautiful, and you can still buy this perfume today. I'm going to spray some because I haven't tried it yet. To see what it is like. So this fragrance is from 1962. It has soft sweet spices, orange flowers, and lower notes of musk, civet, and ambergris. Let's see what it smells like. It definitely reminds me of like a vintage fragrance, more on the lines of Chanel number no. five. Maybe a little bit of youth too. It definitely has a heavy scent. I think it'll change with my body chemistry, but it definitely feels like more of an evening perfume. And it does remind me of that, I don't know, it's hard to explain it, that like heavier, musky, richer perfume. I don't mind it actually. I think it smells pretty good, but it definitely is on the heavier side and reminds me a little bit of Chanel number no. 5. I wanted to buy her White Diamonds perfume because, I don't know, I think it's really cool that she came out with her perfume. And this one came out in... 1991 and I'm actually really impressed with this perfume. I think it smells really good. I was thinking, I was a little afraid that it would smell really musky and gross, but it's actually really fresh and light. And I don't know, it's really nice. I love the bottle too, with the gold and the diamonds. It's just very old Hollywood. And the notes on this one are lily, rose, amber, oak moss, and sandalwood. Um, yeah, I just think it's a very beautiful fragrance. The sparkling white diamonds, I personally don't like this one as much as the classic white diamonds. Um, it's a little, it's a diff different, it's a bit sweeter and a little bit fresher, but I like white diamonds. I think it's my favorite, but I know she has like a whole line of different ones, so I'm really curious to try some of those. I also have earrings that were created based off of the, her iconic earrings, and these ones are from Mir Mir Bourjou, and I'll link those below. She makes all different types of jewelry based off of old Hollywood actresses. So these are these the earrings that I think are perfect Elizabeth Taylor earrings. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you tried any of these products and are you open to trying them? Also, I am taking requests for future old Hollywood movie stars, so comment below. Alright, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!